Hi Gemini, this is your forecast for the month of October 2017. If you have visited me before, I'd like to thank you for returning and if you are new, welcome to my channel. This is a general reading for Gemini Sun, Gemini Rising, or Gemini Moon. It may also be helpful for you to watch your rising and moon sign. You can join me on Facebook and Instagram for daily insights on tarot and astrology, as well as my pay-per-view channel, vimeo.com slash thealchemistastrologer, where you can find on-demand pages with videos for love, finance, and other readings. So Gemini, you're not getting off to a great start. This week, you're facing what seems to be a no-win situation. There's a lot of negative energy running through situations where perhaps you're dealing with one up and ship or some kind of discord between you and others. Could even be some plotting taking place, some sabotage, and perhaps a sneak attack in the works. But there's definitely some hostility and some manipulation taking place some destructive behavior. So, you know, maybe you're trying to get past that and, you know, get past negative situations in order to create a new beginning or heal something where there's been some deceit or treachery or perhaps you've been dealing with some troublemakers. Uh, maybe you're trying to heal that situation or because you've, you're dealing with so much strife, you're having to try to work to keep a positive mindset. Uh, this is also about working in your own self-interest. So for some of you, you know, you could be taking a stance this week where it's my way or the highway or you're dealing with people who are. So, you know, at its worst, you know, some of you have some knowledge of some criminal activity. Uh, there's something going on illegal. There's some dishonesty taking place in a situation. And, you know, there's a focus exclusively on winning. So this is a week to be careful about overstepping boundaries. This is a card of high self-reliance, the ultimate do-it-yourself, where you know you may not be going along with the program, you feel like you know what's best, and you could feel like nobody's listening to you, but it could be the way that you are engaging with others that is uh, closing you off from your connections. So there's some frustration about a situation. And the good news is that frustration is going to trigger you into doing something that you should have done a long time ago. Now, again, your attitude could be getting in the way of a situation. Maybe you are being reckless or maybe you're too confident or maybe you're just impatient. And so it's causing you to take some unnecessary risks and put yourself uh, in harm's way. For some of you, though, again, this situation has gone on for so long. It's something that's gone around and around. You feel like you've been beating your head against a brick wall, whether you've been trying to start something or finish something. You just can't seem to get things wrapped up. So for you, the good thing about this week is, again, you're going to take some steps, whether you have been wondering about something or you've been reluctant or you've had some doubt. You're going to go ahead and step up to the plate and, you know, push, push things forward. Some, something that you've been wondering about or worrying about. You're going to get the information that you need to figure something out. And regardless of what kind of response you get, you're just going to be glad that everything is out in the open. Now, for some of you, you know, it's a situation where you've been taking something for granted, uh, whether that's yourself or uh, you've been not paying attention to something that needed to be addressed or your health. Uh, and in that case, you're going to get a response or you're going to have a, a strong reality check that rocks your world this week or maybe, you know, 
kind of wounds you in some way. You may feel like your pride is hurt or you may experience some kind of humiliation. So this is a warning card always about being careful with your physical safety. Uh, make sure you're checking any kind of medication that you're taking. Make sure it's the right prescription. And for some of you, you know, you're trying to figure something out and you just can't find the answer. Something, if it's a medical situation, even just trying to figure out what is wrong with you is as big of a challenge as finding treatment. Uh, now, this is a week for you to stay focused. You can easily make a mistake and it can be something small or large. You can get distracted or maybe you're frustrated or annoyed and you're not paying attention to a situation and then you end up creating a misunderstanding or you have some kind of accident. Maybe you, you know, you lose focus, you lose concentration and you end up doing something. It could be, you know, locking yourself out of the house, losing your keys, throwing away something you need it, misplacing something simply because you were too distracted with a situation. Now the second week you have this page of swords. Now some of you are dealing with young people, uh, but if not, this is about uh, you know trying to find something out. And again, remember last week, maybe you were frustrated. You had been going round and round with the situation, not really getting anywhere. This week you're really focused on solving that problem. Uh, and the best course of action, of course, is to remain rational, objective about it. Uh, so, you know, you may be using your skills of diplomacy or getting some professional advice uh, or somebody who's got some kind of special skill could be involved to give you some information about something. So this could be a week where there are some secrets revealed or there's some betrayal that, uh, you know, comes into the picture. Some of you, you know, this is an intellectual situation. Maybe you're involved in something where you have to take an exam or get some kind of permit or uh, you're in some kind of negotiation or arbitration process where you're trying to resolve some dispute. Some of you, you're trying to travel um, and maybe you are dealing with a situation where you're getting some news and it's not necessarily some news that you want to hear it you know some boding of trouble problems danger uh, maybe you're involved with somebody who's immature and that person is prone to argue this is a know-it-all or you're dealing with gossip again something that's coming up from behind you that you weren't aware of that's creating a problem in fact somebody could be trying to pry into your affairs. Now, in the positive, again, this is, you know, being dispassionate, resolving something, trying to find out about something. Maybe this is a legal situation that you're trying to wrap up or something to do, again, with school or something techno technological. Now, you could be meeting new people this week. Paige is, you know, this is young energy. So maybe you're meeting somebody new or you're moving closer to somebody. And in some cases, you're moving further away because things are not going well. But it all comes down to communication, the dialogue, the conversations that you're having with another person. So either, you know, you've been going round and round and you're solving a problem and you finally have that meeting of the minds, you get some understanding, some clarity, maybe even inject some humor into a situation to get past a, a negative encounter and you end up creating a deep connection. It, it's the trigger point, the catalyst that brings you closer to somebody. So you're, you could be focused on gaining greater harmony and trying to solve a situation so that things fall into place. You may be tired of something and you just like to end that struggle and you finally make a decision. But for others of you, especially if you were dealing with some kind of uh, 
negative energy last week, you may be looking at somebody and really noticing some things that you don't like, the less appealing parts and characters of someone's personality and that you're seeing that as a red flag or perhaps the final straw to a situation. Now, the third week, you're trying to resurrect something. Something is coming back to life. Now, that may be a good thing or not, but this is a major card. It's a major week. And so, you know, you may not have a lot of control over circumstances. There's a spiritual lesson to be learned this week. Now, again, some of you, this could have been a legal situation that you were having difficulty resolving. And this is the week where, you know, there's some type of judgment taking place. There's a momentous choice and you're at the end of one phase and you're about to start something else. So issues of judging or being judged will be very important. So for you, this could be the end of an era, the end of a situation, uh, a rite of passage taking place. Now, some of you, something's been going on, you're, you've been trying to find out about it, and now it's time for you to take some action. Uh, you're doing some evaluation and you're going in a new direction. There could be opportunities that present that are new for you. Maybe you're doing a career change, maybe some new opportunities, or you, again, a favorable legal decision. Whatever it is, you're trying to create some self-improvement, and this may come through some type of self-appraisal. Something is regenerated or healed. You want to have a clean slate. So for you, transformation is taking place this week. There's an opportunity for change. It could be in the pursuit of a dream or looking at yourself differently, claiming a new identity or recognizing that there are some things that have gone on that have been extremely negative and it's time for change. So if you were a participant, if you were creating, if you were actively part of the negative situation, you may be questioning your choices and whether you're on the right path, whether you should continue, you know, following the course of action you have been, or should you be making some changes? Because something this week that you thought was dead or closed off or finished or resolved uh, is going to come back up again and you won't be able to avoid it. So you're having to make decisions and you're having to deal with new information and new facts. And perhaps in some cases, these are things that you would rather not have dealt with. And maybe they came up behind your back. So regardless of you know what kind of challenge this presents or what kind of new information or developments you face, it could very well turn out in your favor. It could be a blessing in disguise. One thing is for sure, it's going to offer you the opportunity to see what you're made of. You're going to be able to see who you are at your best in order to create a better situation for yourself. So you may have the opportunity to, you know, prevent yourself for making a bigger mistake. You may find out some information that tells you, whoa, wait a minute, stop, back up. Don't go down that road any further because if you do, it's not gonna be pretty. So you're gonna have the opportunity to self-correct. And part of that may be clearing the air with another person. Again, last week, that dialogue was oh so important. So if you're able to speak objectively, dispassionately, rationally, you may be able to work through a situation without creating more misunderstandings. In fact, depending on what is said, you may be able to clear yourself. You may receive some vindication. And something that seemed like it was going downhill, that seemed to be a disaster, you may be able to turn it around and create a success for yourself. So whatever it is, it's not going to happen overnight. This is something that's going to require your patience. It may take some time to work through and resolve some matters. And you may feel as if your life is just hanging in limbo until you're able to close this chapter up. So tying loose ends will be the story this week. 
you know, you may feel as if you're having to go back to the drawing board. Now, that's only going to happen if, you know, you've been continuing in a circle where things were happening. And even though they were happening over and over, for whatever reason, you weren't getting the memo. You didn't get the lesson behind it. So until you do, something is going to keep repeating. Uh, so for some of you, part of the issue is procrastinating, putting things off. There's something that you need to address. You know you need to do it, and yet you're not. And so it's not bad luck that's holding you back. It's you holding out on yourself and not putting forth the effort that you need to. Again, it's going to be very important for you to be non-emotional and stick with the facts because you're going to need clarity of judgment to keep you from making wrong decisions or what your next move is going to be. And again, judgment is all about judging. So you may be really uh, quick on the trigger to judge another person and blame them for something without really recognizing your role in a situation. Now, the last week you have the High Priestess, so another important week, and whatever is going on, at some point, you know, the situation unfolds and you're no longer in control. It's out of your hands. So perhaps you're getting some advice. Maybe you're dealing with a judge and, you know, you're trying to make your case or trying to find out where you stand about something. Uh, so you may be connecting with somebody who has some inside information uh, or you're dealing with young women in your life. This could be a daughter. It could be a friend. Uh, it could be, you know, a counselor or somebody who deals with emotional or psychological issues. Uh, so you are looking within and this is a week, you know, to trust your gut. Your intuition is high. Something is going on behind the scenes. And again, that seems to be a running theme for you. It could be a hidden influence or some past conditioning tied to a situation. There's something, some kind of hidden issue. So you may be looking within, you may be exploring your own subconscious, your own internal world in order to get to the other side of a situation. But you're trying to solve something, some mystery, some enigma. For some of you, if this is a health issue, it may tie into feminine issues or digestive issues or issues of sexuality. Uh, for some of you, this may have to do with some kind of hidden talent that has yet to be revealed. Uh, but there are secrets about and you are trying to gain some type of enlightenment. And again, emotions are running high and you will have to monitor your moods because fact checking is important before you act. Uh, people feel what you feel and they give back to you what you put out. Your relationships are undergoing a change this week. Again, something has come back to life that's giving you pause. You're thinking about something. You're exploring something, something that you believed, and you're having to make some changes because of it. Uh, so, again, the facts are important. Now, this may tie into being protective over someone. Uh, and that desire to protect causes you to make some decisions that uh, make you push boundaries. You, it creates friction. The more you try to protect, the more perhaps you meet with some kind of resistance. This is also a week of opportunities, but opportunities that have price tags. Uh, something you may feel is your future, your destiny, is just something that happened to pass your uh, path. So you will have to really think again about a goal, a promise, an objective, a relationship, a belief, a connection to determine if it's still valid. Are you still where you were when you started? Is the price tag now too high for what you're trying to do? And again, this could be a week of manipulation where you're setting up a situation in order to suit 
you. You're bending the rules a bit because you come out ahead if you do. So this is a way for you to get rid of the competition, for you to confuse other people. Could be some mind games going on. Um, so if that's the case, if you're playing it under the table, then you're going to invite some drama into your life and you better be ready because it may not be what you had expected. So again, it's time to do some thinking, take stock, weigh your options, and you may need to connect with somebody that can give you some inside information. This could be, you know, a, a, an affair where two heads are better than one, or you, it could be that maybe you're making some decisions where you think you haven't been taken seriously, or maybe you've made some foolish decisions and you're having to rethink some things. So it may be necessary to step back or maybe you decide you don't want to get involved in a messy situation, it's too costly for you. Uh, but this is a, a week about listening to that intuition and trying to solve something. Now the underlying energy is the magician and this card has a strong tie to Gemini so this could very well be you but if not this is an important uh, male figure in your life. This is somebody who knows how to manipulate the physical world. They have a vision and they know how to make things happen. So it could be somebody who has a special skill uh, it could be, you know, people that create and make things out of nothing. So it could be artists, it could be actors, it could be writers, uh, it could be some kind of medical specialist, or it could be somebody who has some technical expertise, or somebody who has the ability to use tools. But this is about the proper use of power and being resourceful, being self-reliant. So this could be a month that focuses on you gaining some kind of special knowledge. You're focusing your energy in order to achieve a goal. There's a vision that you have that you want to make happen. And this month you have the ability to make decisions and make them quickly. Now they're not always going to be on the mark. Uh, some of this is going to be trial and error, but you gain confidence through your determination to create. So this is about creative power, new skills, learning, opportunities, and again, problem solving, and being adaptable to change. So now, this month highly rests on your ability to constructively use your will in order to create your progress. You're not afraid to stand alone. Your confidence, uh, you're, um, you're confident, you're, you may be getting some recognition or some reward for what you've been putting out there. But in some cases, you're having to stand alone. That Five of Co uh, Swords card says that, you know, somebody's not going along with the program and you may be left standing on your own. But you're capable of doing that. And the more you do that, the more success you will see. So uh, for some of you, you know, something is coming back to life. You're reevaluating something. And maybe you're overcoming some kind of challenge and, you know, you can hardly believe your good fortune. In fact, there's a fear that is going to disappear. Uh, but this is about, you know, understanding the sacredness of your abilities and, and how powerful you are as an individual. Now, for some of you, you're having some difficulties because maybe you're experiencing some blocks. You're not channeling your power. There's some indecision. You're not seeing things for what they really are. Again, maybe you're dealing with some people who are selfish or uh, they're wasting energy and resources. There are some goals that may be unrealistic and maybe you've been overconfident in some areas. Uh, but maybe, you know, you're going to have to be more flexible. For some of you, you know, there's been some inhibitions or you've been avoiding problems. You've been, you know, waiting too long to deal with something, maybe because of a lack of confidence or maybe, you know, you were just too, maybe you were overly confident. But for some of you, you will understand that you need to get grounded and in a hurry. 
Now, you can get into trouble by letting your emotions run away with you, uh, getting angry, getting frustrated, striking out, and doing it in a way where you offend other people and you undercut your success, or it's all about you. You know, the magician is number one, and maybe your focus is just on number one. So an obsessive self-interest and a disregard for other people and what they think, how they feel, what they can offer, can cut into your possibilities. Now, this is going to center around your attachment to something, whether that's a possession, an idea, a pursuit, or a relationship. How attached are you to it? Uh, you are being encouraged to use your intuition, use your insight to gain answers with the situation, and have patience in that pursuit. You can get into trouble when you let your biases, your prejudice, your intolerance for other people and their vantage point uh, create antagonism and negative situations. So there's some dilemma that you're facing. There's an uncertainty and you're having to make a choice. And maybe you're of two minds in something or maybe you're meeting with opposition. Uh, you have three major cards. So this is going to be a significant month for you emotionally or spiritually or both. Now, there's no lack of clarity on your part. You've got a lot of drive, a lot of ambition, and you're combining that with your mental focus in order to execute your plan with great precision and with a lot of force. So it can almost be a ruthlessness. Uh, so you're going to need to tap into the yin side of yourself and relax just a bit. Uh, it's going to be very important that decision making includes all the sides and everything is considered fairly for everybody. So some of you, it may be necessary to come in contact with a counselor uh, and that counselor may be what is keeping the relationship afloat for you. There could be issues that you're dealing with of pain, anger, confusion, betrayal. Uh, you know, maybe you're in a career that really doesn't suit you and you're having to be innovative and make some changes and get way more creative. For some of you, you're dealing with issues where there's an inability to have close relationships. So there's going to be an outside factor that steps in to take control of a situation that has hit a dead end. It's that five of swords, that no win situation. There's been a lack of direction, perhaps in spite of having all of these clear goals, Perhaps there's even some inner resistance to your own success. Whatever this is, there's a situation that's happening where somebody involved is not going to be rushed. They're going to need to understand why a particular goal is valid before moving and acting on it. All right, Gemini, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything. And of course, you can always book a personal reading at thealchemistastrologer.com.